With his take on the special rapporteur's appearance, we're now joined by Michel Junot Katsuya, former intelligence officer and manager with CSIS. Michel, good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Listen, I want to begin with uh, your experience here, because as one who has worked in and with Canada's intelligence community, uh, what did you make of Mr. Johnston's appearance today? Unfortunately, I, I, I think uh, I will have to side with the opposition when it comes to the impartiality of uh, Mr. Johnson. Uh, despite the uh, phenomenal uh, career that uh, he's led before, uh, today the response that we are receiving from him uh, is, is basically sort of a, a repetition of what Mr. Trudeau have been trying to say for a long period of time, which is to push the blame everywhere else, but except to take the responsibilities of what the government has or has not done uh, in order to deal with uh, foreign interference. Okay, well, let's pick up on that, because, you know, when you listen to the opposition, part of their issue has to do with Mr. Johnson's conclusion, uh, which essentially said that based on what he saw, there is no evidence that the Trudeau government failed to act on foreign interference concerns. At the same time, uh, he's not sharing the information, and in fact, he points the blame uh, essentially on what he calls uh, a communication failure with the intelligence community. What do you make of that? The that's where I really get off the, the train at that point, because uh, for the last 30 years, I've been part of the intelligence community, and I know that we have been bringing the warning and the, 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 the information all the way up to the, every prime minister since Mr. Maroney. Uh, in every case, we've seen all the prime ministers either ignoring, either uh, failing to take action, or simply by uh, using the information to their own device or to their own uh, need. So in that perspective, uh, I'm, I'm not in agreement at all with Mr. Johnson in that perspective. I think Mr. Trudeau has, just like his predecessor, uh, failed to take action when it was time to take action. Now, of course, part of the problem here, too, is the fact that uh, Johnston's con conclusions here are, are, are based on evidence, intelligence evidence, that he's not sharing. He's not actually uh, connecting a path for parliamentarians to understand why he's actually come to this conclusion. Uh, what do you make of that? Because we are dealing with, with, with top secret intelligence here. It is top secret intelligence, but the intelligence is very, very important. And CSIS would not sit on that information without passing it and relaying it to uh, the prime minister or somebody in its immediate entourage. Uh, so, so, and it is so easy also to accuse an organization that you know will not take the microphone and will not go and defend themselves or, 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 or say the opposite. Uh, at this point, unfortunately, I think it's, it's, it's a wash. And, and this is an extremely disappointing perspective that I'm, I'm seeing here from Mr. Uh, Johnson. Like I said, I can only honor the career that he has before. But when it comes now to try to resolve this situation, a phenomenal crisis, shall I re repeat, uh, that Canada is going through, uh, I'm not seeing it as part of the solution. I'm seeing it as part of the problem. Okay, now part of the remedy of this could be a public inquiry. We've heard that time and again from opposition MPs, but uh, Mr. Johnson says that a public inquiry cannot be had because you're dealing with such sensitive information. What do you make of that assessment then? Do you think a public inquiry is one necessary and two possible? Well, at the beginning, I wasn't in favor necessarily of a public inquiry for some of the good reason that Mr. Johnson has mentioned, that a good amount of any information will be classified and will not be able to be shared with the general public for the right operational reason. Uh, unfortunately, the more the government has been dragging and the more Mr. Johnson has been dragged into sort of playing this role that it seems that uh, uh, is convenient to the government, uh, the more now the public inquiry seems unavoidable uh, because the public is losing trust in our institutions. The public is losing trust in our leadership and our allies are losing trust in our uh, ability to resolve this situation. Um, we went from bad to worse to terrible uh, uh, management as we speak. Michelle, thank you for this. Appreciate the time. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. That's Michelle Junot Katsuya.